YouTube vid too? Just reacting to, to Fear Rand? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't think. Like, just, I don't know. I, I don't really want to do that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't know if people really want it. Um, okay. Chat, game chat arena with bingo? I guess so. Could be cool. Alright, let's get some sap going. Super auto pets. Oop. Is there an update? Bro, why does Steam have to open every single time? Hold on. Sap? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the music and voices, you can put in the Discord. Yes, please, and I'll sort that out for when we play it next. I've got so many games I need to play, and I will get to all of them. Don't worry. Like, I really enjoy playing Monkey Island. Um, but it's just always so much to do. You know what I mean? My attention can go in so many different places. Anyway, let's get Hassan on. Every now and then have uh, this oh, kind Argentina of Argentina news. Okay, I do want to hear about this. Did okay. we break them too? I mean, we did, but so did England. Uh, England more so, and then we did as well. We broke everybody. Uh, America has its hands in everything. Okay. Sap time. Any song trivia today? Like, Probably not, but we can do bro, some tomorrow. You're going, uh, did we break this guy? Look at him. Okay. What do you think? Let's see. Play, and there's a new week He's the most Reddit president you could have. Okay, this new weekly. Get in now for SAP, LB1. Then fucking, uh, the, what's his name? The Bukele. The, he is more Reddit than, he, than the, the guy in El Salvador. Like, think about that. I thought, there's no way. There's no way someone could be more Reddit than a guy who literally said, I'm going to turn my country into an NFT, okay? Wow, such insightful commentary. America bad. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Strange politics. Exactly. Argentina does. Yeah, because America okay, meddling in the second, Latin America the ended with the Cold War, right? No, of course it didn't. But I'm just saying that, like, the impact... The most, the most important impact was during the Cold War, I think. Despite his decisive electoral win... Millet may not be able to push through his radical agenda because he has little support in Congress or the Senate and no regional governors are from his fledgling political party. He has been clever enough to understand the social context, he has been clever enough to run a campaign without many resources, he has been elected president. Now, can he be able to do it, to move forward? Without experience, I think everyone is going to say this is a consequence of Peronism and and how like left wing Peronism is the reason as to why Argentina said enough enough is enough, and it's like that completely betrays uh, any kind of serious analysis over the situation, and uh, and and that is like what most people are going to talk about, um, which will which is I assume. Which is what I assume people will be complaining without about. Without the Congress, without the governors, uh, and, and there is a lot of doubt about that. All night, Millet's supporters gathered round Buenos Aires' iconic obelisk. But in the cold light of day, they may find that what lies ahead is not deliverance, but months of economic and political instability, as their new president struggles to turn idiosyncratic campaign slogans into a workable program for government. Well, Wait, Tucker Carlson? Tucker Carlson uh, interviewed him? No shot, dude. No. For politics. But why wouldn't he? Of course he did. Oh, God, I hate Dr. This. Christopher Sabatini is the senior research fellow for Latin America at the foreign affairs think tank Chatham House. He joins us now from West London. Can he do what he says he wants to do? Can he really take a chainsaw to the health service and government departments and scrap the peso and bring in the dollar when nobody has any dollars? Christian, it's a good question. There are a number of obstacles. The first one is that he only has a handful of deputies in the Chamber of Deputies and about seven senators in the 72-seat Senate. So his ability to 
implement such radical changes is going to confront his limited political uh, ballast, if you will, within the system, and he has no governors. First, there's that. The second is his economic ideas are truly untested. Uh, as your report mentioned. Are they, though? Are they, though? All right, all right. I'm I'm, I feel like back. that's copium I'm back. I'm in back. some ways. Because, like, back again. his Not economic ideals place. are, I guess, like, the most uh, neoliberal. Like, it's it's... Any sappers? It's neoliberalism on steroids, but, like, I wouldn't say they're fucking, um, you know, I wouldn't say that they're untested. We've been implementing it slowly but surely everywhere. I mean, Chile is a great Any example sappers? of a place that forcibly implemented them. So, it, it, this is the, in, in many ways, I feel like this is the classic, like, real capitalism hasn't been tried copium. I know that you were waiting for this motherfucker to win to cover him, right? Well, I wasn't waiting for him to win. I did not want him to win. I don't, I don't know enough about, um, you know, I, I'm not like, it's not my strong suit beyond like memes, uh, Argentina politics, right? So I, I have now been forced to look at all of the memes what and is Chad also upset about? do some reading no on uh, his background. I, I covered him a little bit, but... Any more he said today he's going to privatize state like media and state energy and petroleum, which is already money. which is already done in the '90s. Hassan doesn't give a shit about Latin America law. That's not true. That's actually completely untrue. Hi, chat. Argentinian here is true. I'm truly saddened Fine. about the it result of the elections. Not only Milei is a far right libertarian, he's also a climate change denier. Uh. Uh, re energy. vindicates the atrocities committed by the last dictatorship and wants to privatize our national oil company. It's really sad what is happening to our country. Love for you in chat. All right. Well, we start. No, what, what, waiting for his no competitor one. was a Hillary Clinton. Basically, he was going to win law. Okay. How, yeah. I don't know anything about this weekly. Anyway, let's continue. Really, per there, gain there are no dollars in the central bank. Until the end of the battle, that so sucks. The idea okay, of completely toy. dollarizing the economy is, is uh, really a non-starter. Tennis? Right yeah, now. that part is untested, I guess. But second, he's going to confront a political economic okay. system this in Argentina sucks. that Strawberry, has basically okay. grown up around a state-centric, clientelistic uh, economy. It, Not today. We, we ran out of time. I got too distracted. I'm sorry. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll finish it tomorrow. Whether it's... Uh, it's like oh for those of you rude here bikers, uh, I'll give bikers you are the rude. Oxford reference for Peronism okay so this is uh, this is the ill-defined Argentinian political ideology the social base of the first regime coming in 1946 to 1955 ill-defined Argentinian political ideology known as just, Justias Lismo, which espouses Juan Perón's policies of social justice, economic nationalism, and international non-alignment. It's like, um, it's not, it's, I wouldn't say it's like social democracy. I feel like there is a, there is a, no, the, it's a little the bit, golden retriever is, is a very little bit different than being known a, social democracy because there's right wing for a long time. Uh, mixed into it. It remained strong within Argentina after Perón's departure in 19, uh, 1955, largely among the trade unions which cherished the memory of the early years of his presidency. In May 1989, the Peronist Menem was elected president. As far as I understand it, um, yeah, good luck defining Peronism. I, 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 it is not easy, in my opinion, to define it. It is, uh, it is a populist movement. It's one that, uh, in a country with, like, insane levels of, of wealth inequality due to, uh, due to uh, land barons consolidating and amassing all of their wealth over, uh, over a, a uh, post-colonial uh, century, almost, like, over multiple decades of intergenerational okay, wealth accumulation. In. This is one of the first in, first instances of like a ostensibly leftist worker movement. So it, of course, was incredibly fucking popular. You're but, really good, though. 
it is a reactionary social democracy is a is a decent way of looking at it. It's like early. Damn. It is um. It's like pre full tilt fascism. Okay, we'll put you here for now. Uh, Mussolini almost, kind of. I'm doing a really bad job of describing it. I feel like. But because there's a lot of great, um, there's a lot of great uh, social amenities that come along with it. It's like very. I've never heard of this term. Peronism. There's a lot of uh, amenities that Labor come along Zionism. with it. Okay. It's very popular. Like when you offer social amenities, when you offer social amenities to people, especially after uh, never having them, um, never having their needs met. All okay. of a sudden, it doesn't fucking really matter what your ideological grounding is, what your principles are. Uh, it just... People will ride for it, and it has. It, uh, and it, is, it has stuck for many, many years. I guess you're tanking um, then. But yeah, in May 1989, the Peronist Menem was elected president, but his economic program, including the privatization of state-owned industries of foreign buyers, betrayed many Peronist principles. Indeed, Menem managed to redefine Peronism as a movement of compromise. It shed its traditional image of a party composed of rowdy trade unionists and led by shady mafia-type characters and moved to attract the political center crown. Under Eduardo Duhalde, the Peron has lost the 1999 presidential elections, but he became the president amidst a deep economic and oh, political shit, crisis in December 2001. Okay, Duhalde no. was succeeded by Nestor Messing Kirchner in 2003, under whom the Peronist Justice Party continued to defend its overwhelming majority parliament. Hour. Kirchner did not stand in 2007, supporting the successful candidacy of his wife, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. We can also look through the Wikipedia of it if you want. But let's get back to what's going on right now in uh, Argentina. Whether it's um, handouts, whether it's even employment in, in the, the government. So what we're looking at is a series of very radical, untested economic ideas confronting a really a system that is not really cut out for this sort of wrenching change. But if he has the people out on the streets cheering him now, what happens when he can't do what they voted for? Well, I think we'll see. Uh, first of all, we'll see a number of things. Many of the people that have voted for him are truly uh, disenfranchised. They're disgusted. Uh, they're angry with the political class. So and many of them are not necessarily direct beneficiaries of, of those public subsidies that we talked about. They work in the informal sector. They are Get wrecked, largely Benji. youth. You mentioned Get uh, wrecked. In the, uh, the ingoing segment here that the uh, uh, he, he's bu largely built his campaign with very little okay. money on TikTok, and that is tied into the youth. And if you're under thirty, okay. But as far as I understand, that's not true either. Um, Miley's popularity came from right wing fucking media pumping his ass on television non fucking stop for years and years. And like uh, creating this behemoth of a meme before TikTok pushed him. Like, okay, this, look at this. Also, it would destroy the fucking uh, the argument that like TikTok is backed by CCP because his major co point of contention is that we need to break away from China. I'm gonna go to Israel. I'm moving the fucking Argentinian embassy to Jerusalem, which is like dick riding to an unimaginable degree. It's like. Dog, if you have like 143% inflation, why the fuck do you care about riding Israel's cock? What are you doing? Look at this. Okay, he is literally Reddit personified. Look at Hates that. Hates China. Look at that. Wants to literally change the country's currency to the American dollar. Wants to blow up the central bank. It's not dick riding. It's literally a fucking cargo cult. Yeah. Uh, RG here for the last two years. Right wing media has been having him on weekly in the news. Literally one of their responsibilities. This guy made it this far. No, it's literally a Trumpian situation. Yeah, dollarization is not untested. Argentina had a one one forced dollar party parody during neoliberal governments. That's also true. And then right. uh, they, that's also, as far as I understand, played into okay, the current economic collapse that they're uh withstanding i want you to actually be here but it's not i feel work. like in order to talk about argentina 
you have to talk about the IMF, which is, you know, something that I've talked about so many fucking times, except That's it, it's, it's another one of those, fish. like, classic Hasanabi America bad moments, but it is a country that is absolutely eviscerated by by the same economic shock doctrine that has ruined so many so many nations one to one is not the same as dollarization <sighs> all right 30 you're looking at very dismal job prospects so for many of his followers and he's clearly created a very cult like following they are not beneficiaries of that but what will happen is in any attempt to reform even close to what he's proposing what he's going to have to confront are very v powerful economic vested interest. And that is going to be difficult. I think it will be very difficult economically as well as politically, especially given uh, a parentist party that lost graciously, luckily, but is clearly maintains the, the, the factores de poder, these, these particular sort of popular elements of mobilization and, and, and organization. Do you think democracy can survive in, in Argentina or could we see a return to the past? I have no there idea. There are several challenges to democracy. Uh, it's, it's not going to be a coup d'etat like well, we saw, say, in 1976. Uh, there's, you know, the time has passed when we see Toy generals who are stepping their way towards the presidential palace and removing an elected president. Having said that, what we could see is an erosion of the, the fundamental checks and balances of democracy. Yeah. The only way he can fundamentally organize his and implement his plan is really by steamrolling the Congress, given his low levels of representatives. But also the levels of polarization, the, the, the discourse, and it, again, your, your very good in, introductory segment talked about how vulgar and coarse his, his public debate is. Each that is going to have a very dire effect on, on, on civic culture within uh, Argentina, You're pretty as well as uh, his own sort of capacity Keep and tolerance for, for pluralism that he's clearly, as the chainsaw symbol represents, doesn't have a lot of um, capacity Never used the it, poodle so. before. Why is he having Dude, I'm from Argentina. The campaign of this guy was operated from think tanks in the USA, like Liberty Foundation and Heritage Foundation. Yeah, it's not a fucking accident that Ben Shapiro has been dick riding him so fucking hard. Everyone will think, oh, Ben Shapiro loves okay. him because like... Uh, Mile loves Israel or whatever, but that's not the real reason. The real reason is because, like, Elon Musk and Ben Shapiro both dick ride this man because he is, like, he basically is, like, like, we no longer need the CIA to go in and specifically prop up people like this in countries Get like wrecked. Argentina. You can just have a guy do it on his own, Okay. The same forces Isn't are still work. at play, but that's why I was talking about. That's why I was talking about the how yeah, uh, get uh, the the, get orange, the Cold War and its devastating gold. impact on uh, Latin American countries is still very much alive. It's very, it's kind of like you know how I talked about J. Edgar Hoover uh, could have never imagined a world in which like you know black zoomers on TikTok would be shitting on Martin Luther King. By using Sarah, literally FBI, <laughs> uh, the FBI smears against them, saying that he like MLK actually hated black women or whatever the fuck, like because the internet does it on its own now, or how uh, the DSA or any kind of like socialist movement basically he inevitably engages in, in really. Um, he obviously wanted to take in its it own then. like co intel so pro uh, on its own. You know what I mean? Like, there's all there's are always sec, uh, sectarian infighting that's happening nonstop. What else is missing? Volo? In leftist movements, without like any kind of intervention from the federal agencies, it's basically kind of like that. We have broken every country. We've broken ourselves as well. So now you don't even need like serious direct intervention, and you could just have a guy like that. Neoliberalism will cause so much chaos in your country, okay? Neoliberalism will cause so much chaos in your country that you don't even need, like, a, a American-backed military coup and a military dictatorship to, like, forcibly come into power and rewrite the Constitution with a bunch of, like, American dickhead, uh, you know, college, yeah, college right, campus like neoliberals. You don't have to do any of that. You, you just, you got motherfuckers doing it for you. 
uh, on their own volition. Any international allies? I mean, he's a fan of Donald Trump. Um, you know, is there anybody out there who might come and bail him out? Oh my God, I well, have no yeah, food perks. As you perks. mentioned, Donald Trump is, is, a, is, is, is a supporter. Donald Trump really does, doesn't have a lot of affinity way. Uh, for those who have ties to democratic norms and those niceties. Uh, he tweeted his congratulations to Wait, no, 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 you are better. Uh, Tucker Carlson, the Fox News host, uh, who is a big Donald Trump supporter, was no. actually in Argentina. He also counts the support of uh, Jair Bolsonaro, pack. the now uh, uh, disgraced well, you, you can take it former president of Brazil. Because you're going to give it to everybody else. A, uh, FaceTime conversation shortly after Malay was elected. Um, he will have allies. The, the question is, is sort of, what can those allies bring? He okay, both of his allies Sick. are disgraced former presidents. Oh, so what does not that even say? Like a diamond ring not a good. Hand down doesn't gold spell. Rings and letter A. My wife's doesn't spell a lot. Of, doesn't he still a lot of confidence? Aww. But the reality is this. I'm okay? sorry, Volo. As the far that right Israeli sucks. government has shown, as the Bolsonaro government, but also as uh, the State Department's immediate message after Millet uh, uh, winning the election, the American government doesn't give a shit. It don't matter to us if you're far you right. Two wives we love that person. shit, that dog. Makes sense. The fuck do you mean? Yeah, that's the worst when sentimental stuff is taken, like stuff that isn't yeah, worth look, that much. There you go. Like we look forward to working with him and his administration. White House's John Kirby said of Millet, Argentina is a terrific partner in the region, and there's an awful lot of things we share in terms of values, value of democracy, human rights, and just hemispheric security. That's what that's what our take is. We don't give a fuck. Yo, I'm wrecking. Oh, we lost a, a an Argentinian chatter wrote a fucking essay. Scooby Dios. Argentinian chatter here. I was just from your stream starting to appreciate the stuff we have here. Things like free healthcare, really good and completely free universities, good public transport, even with all our flaws, it felt like we we're going in the right direction and we had a lot of potential, but turns out now it's Jover for us. I'm so fucking sad that this is such a setback. Fuck, Not dude. to mention all the dictatorship denial, like a German president denying the Holocaust. Yeah. There's also the component, there's also another problem here. Um, Wedding there's also so much because I worked his, so much his, over time to buy it and I got it custom made. His fucking, he had a few uh, diamonds. Uh, vice president. I'm sorry, Volo, that really does right? suck. Like his VP is even fucking worse. This guy is crazy, man. I, mean, I guess I don't know what else all you can really you do is like than, try to like, shit, he is literally like, like show someone, pictures to pawn shops, one of my um, haters, like places where you can pawn you items. One of my haters into a fucking lab and and broke their brains further with like r slash neoliberal and and all the. Oh, he stepped on your bed. Fuck. Literally spit out. That's so. Guy. It's so violating. He, he's denounced uh, uh, the president of Brazil, uh, Lula, as being a savage communist, which I guess is worse than just being a normal communist. Uh, he's also <laughs> said that he doesn't, he wants to cut ties with China, which will be impossible given that China represents a large share of the markets for Open Argentine your oven. And cultural goods. Um, yeah, he will find allies, and he's promised also Weird. to move the uh, the Argentine embassy to Jerusalem, much as his... his he said that's his first no, no, trip. No food that's his no first food act. Packs. That's like Juan Guaido going... Remember when Juan Guaido was in fucking America, and he was like, well, constitutionally speaking, I know that, like, the, I, have a, I have this, like, window of power, right, in the Venezuelan constitution that would give me the opportunity to, like, change, the, uh, uh, change Venezuelan politics. And what will I do in that moment? I, well, I'll just go to America and tell the American Congress that, like, I, am, I love Israel, and also I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to privatize our oil uh, extraction industries. It's like, wow, thanks, man. That's super sick. I'm glad. That's really what people of Venezuela were like going to vote for you on. That's what they, that is what they want. That's what wow. they wanted. Thank you. Very sp it sounds like you spent a long time Aren't in that like, here, Villa poisonous. Riel, his like, VP complained about posters remembering house, the you know? desaparecidos of the last dictatorship in the school she voted at. His uh, sort of doctor, uh, patron and, and, it, it, Donald Trump has done, but it, it's going to be difficult, especially in a neighborhood, yeah. South America, that's very much tilted to the left. Dr. Sabatini, thank you very much indeed. Thanks. Other Argentinian chatter here. The Argentine left forcibly pushed the public to the right because of its, because it's ridden with corruption. I value Argentina's dedication to public infrastructure. Really? 
Kirchnerismo has constantly fucked everyone in the ass and could not be allowed to win again. Um, Bro, the desaparecidos are the missing people, right? Um, people that were disappeared, killed with no body to mourn by the last dictatorship. Yeah. Argentinian history is fucked, dude. This is the Buenos Aires you don't see in postcards. Slums like the Villa 2124 have long been bastions of support of the ruling Peronist party. But with more than 40% of Argentines living in poverty, there is a new kid on the block who doesn't look or speak like any other politician. And he's leading... Funny because Argentina was affected by Operation Condor, but this guy's just doing it for them, lol. Like, just ready for the selling of the entire industries. And, of course, all these guys are funded, educated by the Atlas Network, Coke, Thiel, American think tanks. 100%. That's what I'm saying. That's what's the craziest part about this is that, like, look. Yeah, but you I'm too. It's, it affects you too, Volo. And I know yeah, very I know. well it what it looks like when you get a fucking neoliberal in power. Okay? A neoliberal populist in power. Fuck. Except the difference is at the top of the hour, there's still a three minute ad break. No matter Bro, what. Fuck you, Hassan. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You can have hyperinflation. You're going to still see a three minute ad break. Unless you subscribe for $5 or free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your favorite broadcaster. Hopefully, that's me. You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky to use a three minute ad break now. Okay. But having said that, I'm Turkish. I know. I know what it's like when you got a populist leader. Okay. You get a populist leader, except the difference here is that even in Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, when he was yeah. running, was like, fuck the IMF. How dare they? How dare they try to fucking control fuck. what we do to our own economy? Now, of course, when he did come into power, he privatized yeah. a bunch of key no sectors. No one deserves that shit, dude. Of course he did that. He, he was the guy. He was the guy for the, uh, for, uh, the IMF. No. But he didn't run on it. Torn blink. Fuck. This guy did. Stop. This guy literally did. He, Stop, he Torrin. Fuck. Without openly mentioning it. Why is it always Torrin blink, dude? Without openly mentioning it, Every he basically was advocating for the policies that would be Why did you get implemented. Like the same exact policies that would be implemented that have been implemented as a matter of fact. Yeah, but uh, don't worry, Wally. You can do it. Like, don't, don't. Did you read up about the dictatorship? You, you Put aside all the means people it, like, uh, all were tortured, stuff. killed, and disappeared by the state. It was mass know. genocide, I know, and have family. I have no idea why that wasn't too mud. Fuck people who say we didn't have a choice. You know? Anyway. I just wish there was a way to make it better, but they literally, it's like. <sighs> yeah. Mele said really he sucks. didn't care about the IMF because he was going to have an even harder implementation than the one that the IMF was asking. Look at me modding the shit. race to become Argentina's <laughs> next president. Yo filosóficamente soy anarcocapitalista. El Estado es el enemigo, es una organización criminal. Millet's message is reaching voters fed up with the usual politics. La gente está cagada de hambre acá. No es porque vivamos en la villa, no, no tengamos hambre, no, sí, hay hambre. Walter fixes bicycles for a living, but still relies on government funded free meals, water and electricity to survive. What I, I want to talk the about is how much I've watched you play this game and still don't understand it. If you want to understand it, just play it. Like to cut. That's it. But Walter like, will you have to be thrown in the deep end. Anyway. He wants change. Yo, eh, por mí, estoy cobrando 60, pesos. I'm getting owned. No puedo comprarme calzado, ropa, porque la ropa está muy cara hoy en el día. La Argentina va para abajo. For Walter, things can't get much worse. Yo lo veo a Milei, digamos, una persona, digamos, sea, que quiere cambiar la Argentina. Javier Milei wants to upend the country's politics and promises to make Argentina great again. Argentina, en 15 años, <laughs> podría estar alcanzando niveles de vida similares a los que tiene Italia o Francia. It's so funny when they talk oh, about, like, fuck. Italy or France well, um... and, like, all of these places. Literally, if there's one universal value or one universal fact, every single nation that you look to as like beacons of prosperity, and I will include China on this as well now, 
right, as far as like economic development, have remained that way due to either not being colonized, okay, or because more importantly than that, <laughs> because China One was spot left right? in LV SAP masterclass having as Torrent robust Blinks clone social safety nets. Me in it's the so fucking of ideas, weird, dude. man. It's such an odd thing. Like Fuck, the literal dude. implementation of of social democratic principles from like one hundred fucking my fucking nemesis, dude. Every single time I'm doing well in SAP, he just takes it away from me every single time, motherfucker. Every single time. I know, Torin. <laughs> oh, God. All of I our social spending. This, and and that's how we're going to... Con uh, that's how we're going to contain inflation. And, and, and that's how we're going to do it. Is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then we're going to get to, you know, uh, uh, European social democracy levels of prosperity... When, as far as I understand it, even in its most wealthiest uh, time frame, our Argentina has never actually had, uh, while, while, you know, their, their GDP might have been great overall, they've never actually had uh, even development. Even development is the, is the name of the game here. Y si me dan 35, Estados Unidos. His supporters love his chainsaw gimmick. He wants to send a message that he will reap through the status quo. Yeah, I actually did a study a, a few years ago. It's unironically rooted in the colonial Spanish caste system. The common argument is that Europeans can do that, but we cannot since they are rich and smart. Yeah, and if you're talking about the European caste structure, uh, Argentina is quite literally, right, just for the as far as I understand it, on, uh, on the, the, the most like European dick-riding country of all time in Latin America. You hang out with your mom? Aww. There is, a, there is a Twitch chat. Seems permanent. <laughs> there is a permanent aristocracy that is uh, that has like a, like a landlord aristocracy that has has calcified in this country. Twitch chat? And time and time again, um, all of the uh, all of the implementation, all of the policies have have basically reconfirmed it in uh, as it was developing and and refusing to industrialize. When other nations were uh, unironically moving in that direction. Right, seven people in, and are we waiting for any more sappers? Political upstart with Elvis hair is managing to win over middle class voters. Why do they refuse to industrialize? I mean, money. You don't, if you don't, if you feel like your agricultural output is like enough for those in positions of power to make enough money, then why would you? Most of this tracks back to adjustment rates and IMF loans bankrupting every single country south of our border. This all comes okay. from the IMF insuring Anyone outside else? interest in the country, we'll in second, fucking then. them even more. Venezuela was the only one to starve it off, and look Torin, what happened there. CIA. Yeah. yeah. It's a recurring theme among his supporters that for decades, Argentines have been betrayed by their politicians and only Millet can save the country. Back in Davija 21-24, Walter is getting ready to receive the only meal he will eat today. Yes, this is a really reductive and yet fairly sound way to describe it. People like to say Argentina was richer than the US, but it was a plantation slash mine operation ruled by the old colonial rulers, Spaniards born in Latin America, where 10 people had all the money. Anyone else? Yes. And the needs of the working class and the I'll peasants were like, not joining. never okay. met. I hope it didn't scare you off. I, you know I'm always joking when, I, when, I, when I'm like my nemesis. gives you, you know? I think, an analytical framework to understand why something like Peronism took hold and, and became a... <laughs> uh, it became okay, wait, basically okay, we'll wait for you like a don't permanent cultural political force. Whoever, whoever does even marginal improvements, 
whoever does marginal improvements Are you on in? perfect. Okay. Uh, uh, whoever e even remotely does marginal improvements on on the labor force, and says that they're backing the labor force and and uh, the the working class is going to become a legend. Mispronouncing Peron is going to end me today. Okay, babies. listen. Latin America is not my strong suit. Fucking dumbass babies. Inside, it's grueling work for Pedro Carvajal, one of the Yes, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention it. It's LB Rise. Fennel Pennel made it. I think I need to crop it to make it a bit bigger, but it's great. Fennel Pennel be insane, dude. And I've commissioned six more emotes from Doodlebub and uh, Bingcraft. And then from there we'll see what else we need. Pedro told me he will also vote for Millet. He's hungry for change. Is there a spooky but one in there? Do you want a spooky emote? He would only tell no, there isn't. Camera, but if you if you give me ideas of what you if you know. if you make a little like if you give me some ideas, you can send me this on Discord, Sakura Gold, like what kind of with. style one or vibe you you would like, like to go for. I'll make a spooky city. emote. Dude, so much. Dude, I'll commission also, one. We've got Argentina so many slots. I might as well. Can't have that discussion. Just give me an idea and I'll do it. I'm not even thinking about this game. Obviously, white supremacy, or or um or anti-black. Okay. Uh, or or anti-indigenous politics runs Latin American countries, but this is like okay. the most obvious version of it. I shall think. Yeah, just send me like a lot ideas. of you probably look to the fact that what how what percentage of Argentina and, uh, is will, Italian and think well someone. clearly they're not white they're Italian, but you know all jokes aside it's like Western chauvinism, uh, Western Let's chauvinism. Go. Are in full display Let's in that see. regard, like oh, okay. showcasing Buenos Aires and and nothing Fuck. else, or not even like the okay, poor well slums of me. Buenos Aires. Uh, I oh, I let him cook with a witch cold and bubbling. That's a good idea. Like he means when when the reporter is is saying that, when the reporter is saying that, he's Let's basically go. talking about how European looking the cities are and poverty on every it's too corner. Too slow scaling. And plenty of people dread that Millet in power would only make things worse. In the Villa 2124, Father well, Lorenzo is Lorenzo is one of those voices. Let's see. Warning his congregation against voting for Millet let me, let out of cook. anger or desperation. Which bubbling, yeah. La gente se confunde y se acata el Salvador. Well, Most Argentines are not German. Stop that. I never said that. I also would I, like I a, a shaking all, my but there head is a emote, lot of which I'll get commissioned at some point. Because often Decent I want this too, emote, and Italians. it's not in other chats. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's also like the gauge of like, normally when I go into other chats and they don't have the emote, I'm like, okay, there's a little, like, something you can add, you know what I mean? So I want them to be used, because shaking my head isn't in a lot of chats. That is one of my favorites, yeah. So it'd be one very, in a very similar style. Walter, back home with his dinner, doesn't care. Sí, bueno, acá tengo luz, agua. Eh, sí. Aparte que tiene su, su locura, pero bueno, confío mucho en esa persona, digamos ya. Que mi ley no pueden sacar, digamos ya, del... del... I don't understand why a bunch of poor people will be wait, like, wait, fuck whatever on. safety nets we have. Brother, are you kidding me? You will never... First of all, America doesn't have fucking... And has, you know... In contemporary American history, we've never had inflation anywhere near what these guys are experiencing, okay? That's why I always joke whenever I talk about Turkey, because Argentina and Turkey, like, there's some parallels there. It's like... But even then, look to West Virginia. Plus 35 Trump state, dog. What do you mean? What do you mean? I understand why hog jet ski dealers want to vote for Trump and propaganda. Argentina doesn't even seem divided on it. No, there's plenty of poor people who love voting for Trump too. Poor people love poor poor people vo love voting for reactionary politicians who you know tell them like who who feed them the gospel of change and prosperity. Easy artist. 
no. People Bordeaux. don't recognize their class interests at all. And why this should they? <laughs> when a capital structure right. creates information, uh, creates an information vacuum that forces you to never engage you, you with got, politics you, you from a materialist scuffed, perspective. Or, uh, you're to, pushing to it never up. recognize your class interests. You're pushing it a little bit. When you're a colonized bit. nation, it's incredibly hard to industrialize as your resources are constantly being exported out to do so. Colonized nations have to kick out the U.S. and European corporations with even less concern with the country's development and stability when Argentinian businessmen uh, to successfully industrialize and deal with internal conflicts. Damn. <laughs> Surf Ninja owning me. Into the unknown, New Picasso just dropped. But Walter, Bro, it does like have a Picasso vibe, TBH. Feels like he's already backed into a corner. And now he's gain ready Perkle to Gain purple ailment. Punch. Remove it and gain... Okay. Two friends faint. Give the nearest friend a head Salvador, that much. For example, the president okay. is just jailing everyone with a tattoo saying crime went down and that's enough for people. Oh my God. I don't even want to talk about El Salvador, dude. That shit is nutty. Tucker Carlson interviewed the Argentinian president, but I feel like in order to develop a better understanding of what's going on here, and we haven't even gotten to the fucking memes yet, here is Progressive International saying, President-elect Javier Milei uh, confirms that he will close Argentina's central bank, privatize state-owned energy company, YPF, sell off all public broadcast yeah. networks, and travel to the U.S. and Israel before inauguration on the 10th of December. It is great. Poor people love ANCAPs because they've only seen the world through small-scale monetary exchanges plus taxes, and that's the idea that ANCAPs sell. It's hard to imagine a scale, the scale at which government actually functions when all you've ever done is fix bikes or whatever. You are addressing Argentina's economic issues and woes, but you are not mentioning that starting today, steam won't take Argentine pesos any longer. That is the greatest tragedy. What? Well, there you go. Uh... <laughs> Watch what happens uh, with with dollarization. You know, bro, that's insane. So they they're literally dollarizing. Oh my god, that's what Zimbabwe did. But I don't think the inflation was nearly as bad as Zim's. You know, fan for a long time, but no, usually right. But as Argentinian, I think the discussion is silly because I don't care about how crazy this dude is. In fact. I like a little crazy, but the politics are brutal, like brutal privatization and going back to rates that we give, like, ween, like abortion and same-sex marriage. What the fuck? What is he talking about? Uh... Argentine gamers are going to try to pay U.S. prices with Argentinian wages. I mean, that's why there is a secondary black market for everything in countries like this, in Turkey especially as well. There's no... There's no way that you can fucking buy yeah, so video way, games with bills. American prices. I have some of them. Okay, with, with the American dollar when you're making Argentinian wages. Don't talk about our country, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> How is that tweet oh breaking God. news? He's been saying that before the election. Don't it's talk not. about our country, bro. What? Nazi immigration? The Nazi immigration is not that true. Lots of Germans went to Argentina way before the Nazis. That's not what I was talking about. The Nazi immigration is just a meme because of like, uh, what is it? Is it Klaus Barbie was in Argentina, right? A lot of prominent. Asmongold already destroyed you on this point, saying that if you cannot afford it, it does not mean you can steal it. Yeah, no, I, I am a firm <laughs> advocate uh, and it always will be. Oh, um, God. Always will be an advocate for, for theft in that regard. Oh, no. B uh, Barbie was in Bolivia. Um, hmm. Anyway. I generally Eichmann. think that you're better, but you, you're a tank now. What is this? A reminder. Oh, here. Living with nearly 100%. Here, this is a good way to understand what's going on in Argentina. Papel higiénico. Papel higiénico de cuatro. Puré de tomate. Sal. Azúcar. Después también detergente. Lavandina. Desodorante. 
I have no idea where Cadman to go. Cadman Ocon is trying to get pantry staples. I do want you over you, though. But inflation in Argentina Fuck. has soared to nearly 100%. So or she can gonna no die. longer afford them. The way to get things is often going on Facebook to barter. Here it's called el trueque. Okay, let's see. We can get this yak more powerful. Todo para My pobre. game plan is so scuffed. That's just how it be with Sap. Yo trabajo en casas particulares por hora. Antes me alcanzaba. Pero ahora por día tengo que hacer hasta dos, tres casas. Pero ahí está que por, por lo que te pagan no te alcanza. Porque todo está caro. So how does el trueque help you? How does it help your family? Ahora lo hago, por ejemplo, dos veces a la semana. Generalmente me salva de comprar lo que me hace falta cuando no tengo la plata. ¿Viste? This is the thing is like, people always find a way um, to survive. And it's usually always like <laughs> relegating back to like a barter system or Give the black market. The nearest friend behind. Black market shit. Always. Skewer is better than you. Like, theft and and black market and i'd really prefer like, if like uh, a non-taxable you uh, and, and i'll find a way to make um, this work like this is just better but like I implementation need of like you very first niche localized economies that Fuck. are not taxed and also uh are are, are price controlled Subimos lo que tenemos a la página de los grupos que es, hay muchísimos miembros, muchísimas mujeres. I need to get a carrot. Mujeres. I need to survive Subimos enough to get a tenemos carrot. Y pedimos lo que queremos pedir. Is how this season's I'm going to stop being toxic and become wholesome chatter. Okay, dude. What do people need? El azúcar, eh, la hierba que aquí se usa hierba todo el mundo toma mate, ¿viste? Galletitas dulces para los chicos, fideos porque ya no es como que el fideo también se fue muy caro. El trueque is something that helps yeah, you, but yeah, you also see it and you feel it as something that is to help others. I, I, totally se una red. I don't know enough about I, I don't know enough about like how the Argentinian working class view leftist politics due to like center left uh Peronist Peronist uh policies. I totally believe I suspect it's probably not favorable considering that they voted for a fucking freak. Who is like literally the exact opposite really expression? Okay, yeah, I've got no so, camera. Trotskyists get three percent of the vote here. I mean, but that's but that's whatever. You know what I mean? That's thanks. <laughs> yeah, there's always shit like that. That doesn't mean anything. Betrayed. That's why the working class is going more and more reactionary. Viste? Se hace arma una red. Te sirve a vos y le sirve al otro. Quizás este, oh, empieza a como combo. que una mano solidaria. Yo te ayudo y vos no te Sí. People in Argentina know their way around an economic crisis. In the early 2000s, the economy collapsed. Many turned to bartering clubs to get by. Sí. Things have bounced back since then. So I but think inflation what I'm do remained this. a persistent problem. And now it's at its highest in more than 30 years. There's no one reason for this, but a major problem is that the government spent. Yeah, you laugh, but would you not love a 3% vote for hardcore leftists in the U.S.? Come Thank on. Thank you. First of all, okay, we, we have an entirely here. different uh, structure in in our Congress. We have, and also, secondly, we do kind of have that. And people yell about the third party votes all the goddamn time. No, they both went to him. Oh, fuck. I we didn't want a, that. I wanted you to give so one to the. It's oh. a little bit different. Spends okay. more than it has. Fuck. To keep up, it borrows or if prints I put you more in money, front, will you go first? which devalues a currency. This administration has tried a slew of policies to curb inflation, such as price controls, increasing salaries, and negotiating debt with foreign lenders. La inflación es un fenómeno histórico en la Argentina. Ha sido un callejón recurrente del que pareciera ser imposible. Salir. I'll get you next time. <laughs> with the value of the peso plummeting, right. people are rushing to buy dollars. But the I'm government also limits be who can make exchanges game, and how much they I'm can get, creating a vast hours. illegal market. I'm going to rate level head. He's doing a... Uh, this is literally uh, a, a mechanism of survival. Uh, I, I know this Tabitha? from, again, like I said, from my personal experience. Level head's on a good space right now. You have to do this. There is no oh, yeah. other way. There's no other way to survive in a country with 150% inflation. Like, there's no... People will just die.
Downtown Buenos Aires is packed with arbolitos, money exchangers selling dollars for about twice the official rate. And some savvy arbolitos, like Fernando Santangelo, will deliver them right to your door. On a good day, I guess, he's exchanging up to $20,000 like, for clients all across Buenos Aires. I guess I might as well do this. How are you, friend? Maybe one day I'll play SAP. How much did you pay? Five, right? Five for him and two for... Sure. La gente necesita comprar dólares y de alguna forma tiene que, que, que buscarlo. Esta es la única opción recurrida al mercado negro. A lot of this is through WhatsApp, it's through, you know, posting on Facebook. Tell us a little no. bit about how, how that works. Me pongo en las redes, uh, en Facebook, más que todo en Facebook, a buscar clientes. Por ejemplo, mira, tengo un cliente que me acaba de escribir que necesita pesos para mil dólares. Yo comienzo desde acá. Empiezo a copiar y a pegar en todos los grupos. Mira, acá están todos mis compañeros ofertando. Mira, ¿eh? Vendo cinco mil dólares entre 116. All right, I'm still Yo surviving. I will survive every night and day. Todos estos grupos, todos I tell you, activos. I will survive. Comprando, vendiendo, no, no para. A veces hasta las 12 de la noche están todos comprando, vendiendo y el que le sirva la hora porque tiene los pesos, tiene los dólares. The illegal market is so widespread that like, Santangelo says that some of his clients are police die, so officers and government workers. Thing, so he also you. says that arbolitos I'll like him you. get fed the rate of the street dollar directly from people Thank inside you. the central bank. Este es el grupo de difusión. Por aquí es que yo me, uh, yo sé cuando fuck? sube y cuando baja. Es como alguien que está infiltrado dentro que... He said, ha, 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 360 is now at 1,000. I mean, dude, this is... Dude, That's I know insane. I always talk about how Flexicans are Turks, but this is the most Turkish thing I've ever seen. I mean, I, I don't think Turkey has, like, a secondary market okay. for currency like this. Inopta. 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 Peki, ¿no se van a ir a ir no los pasa a nosotros que trabajamos en no, las casas de cambio. Y acá yo pago por, por estar en este grupo, yo pago 4 mil pesos por, por mes. Todos los que estamos acá pagamos. The central bank denies any involvement in setting the unofficial rate and says that it collaborates with authorities to crack down on the illegal exchange market. Argentina has a general election later this year and inflation is a hot issue. Mercedes D'Alessandro is a former top um, government official. It's okay, kind of Seth wild Ninja. how many okay, you countries just wait, on Seth the Ninja. planet live just like you wait. this. I'm, I'm coming, bro. I'm coming, Actually, bro. Like, just wait. It is kind of... Everyone in the chat is like, oh, dude, this is so Iran-coded. Oh, this is so Egypt. This is so Turkey. This is so Syria. Just you wait, motherfucker. Hmm. Interesting to consider where all of these countries are, are where they are. And, and what their history looks like. Zimbabwe I mean, it's most coded. of the fucking planet. All of it is like this, specifically to prop up the few Western nations that benefit from unequal exchange in this regard. Let me guess, America bad? Brother, come on. I mean... No, actually, it's not America bad. These guys are just this way because they're, I guess, uh, servile... Uh, in their nature, they're yeah, just no, genetically bad. inferior. That's America bad. It, it certainly has nothing to do with like direct intervention from the I'll Western world, from Western capitalist forces, um, and and has everything to do with, yeah, has every has nothing to do with this, and everything to do with uh, uh, they're just like uh, they're peasants. They're just like born to be peasants. They're inferior, except with Argentina, they literally fucking did have kind of that mentality to a certain degree and brought in a lot of Europeans uh, who came in, and yet I guess they still weren't able to get out of that uh, inferiority, the genetic inferiority of, of being in the Southern Hemisphere. It's a, it's a similar concept. You know this from domestic politics. If you literally have been following my coverage on Black Lives Matter or... Or, or domestic policy in the United States of America and white supremacy and its influence, 
then you already know this. There are either there are no, two ways out of this conversation. Fuck. Either in the United States of America, when you look at domestic politics, you believe that there are some intrinsic factors as to why black people and brown people are are just worse off, okay? What is it? And if you believe that there is like an intrinsic factor, then you believe that they are genetically inferior somehow. You can mask it and say, uh, it's actually their culture. That's what it is, and not their race. But ultimately, it devolves into scientific racism. Fuck. Right? Or you believe that there are external factors like systemic racism, capitalism, purposefully keeping people down to create a permanent underclass, to literally have a, a, uh, a newer version of uh, slavery that is... Pog. codified by our constitution nah, that is perfectly nah. legal and got valid. Got two lives left and I've finally got a monkey. And if you believe that, then you believe that there is systemic racism, <laughs> right? If that, and I believe that. I think that that is what's going on. Okay? Surely racism is responsible for hyperinflation. No, brother. That's not what I'm saying at all. You're misunderstanding my point. You either believe that like Argentina, Egypt, Syria, Turkey, Iran, uh, all of these other countries that we just mentioned are have dog shit economies due to the fact that they are due to some like intrinsic factors. Like they are just personally uh, uh, not smart enough in comparison to these beautiful European uh, democracies that we look to, or you believe that there are some uh, other external forces at play. Welp. One life left. How do you respond to the argument that culture is Let's go party. Black culture is American culture. The idea that like black people respond differently to black culture than white people, which consume more black culture than black people do because this there's more white better. people in America than black Fuck. people, is just pure racism. It's just racism, but with like an additional layer on top of it, an additional coat on top of it. So instead of saying better. like black people are racially inferior, you say black people are culturally inferior. Except... That's America's culture. Just taking L off to L. So what is it? Fuck it, I'll get Why is it that food, black people are impacted food. by that, that's a, black culture that's like in different ways than white people are? Perhaps it has nothing to do with culture and everything to do with systemic conditions that black people were what? subjected to. Say... And all poor people are subjected Slavery to in general, pug? too. What? Huh. Out of context. That's out of context. How dare you? Whoa, I'm holding on. Their hyperinflation is directly related to the American currency dictating how they operate. So when America I've feels any squeeze, so we push the weight off on the places of like Argentina. I can't believe it. Instead of stressing the American worker more, historically, we push it into the global south. Americans are feeling it now because it's so heavy. Yes, because uh, it, it is destined to collapse. There's only so much squeezing you can do. Anyway. A lot of things, a lot of the... the uh, the, if you are principled Plus three minus and you understand up, yeah. and you look at things from a dialectical materialist perspective, that same dialectic exists oh. both domestically and you As can look at that slavery. domestic oh. dialectic <laughs> and infer look. things globally as well. No. Obviously, it's a bit reductive uh, and there are additional, there's a lot more reading that you must do to fully comprehend it. Damn. Okay. Um, it's over. But it is the truth. It's it is Jova. the exact same thing. You can extrapolate this information. All right. By looking at your we'll own wait. personal experiences. It's a good way. It's a good starting point. See, Scooby Dio says, I applied lots of stuff that I learned from you in Argentina law. Thanks, I guess. 
don't thank me. There's, I mean, I'm just fucking rehashing things that much more intelligent people have uh, said before me. You know? All right. In the Ministry of Economy. Sin duda la inflación es un factor que va a incidir en las elecciones a nivel político porque estamos right. hablando del salario, de poder llegar a fin de mes. Son siempre un elemento que mueve el voto. What do you think about the policies that this government, previous governments as well, but this government has put in place in order to deal with this economic crisis? usando metáfora futbolera, corriendo atrás de la pelota, ¿no? Es como pasan los problemas y vas a apagar el fuego, vas a apagar el fuego. Hace tiempo que no hay un plan económico. We've got a very contentious presidential election at the end of 2023. How do you see the kinds of discussions that are already happening around inflation, around the economic crisis here? How do you see that playing out? Political. Yeah, no way of getting through that, man. Yo so veo que las la, la figuras de la oposición eh, sí toman Heated todas las sheets, frustraciones yeah. y las, la, 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 los nervios y fogonean con eso un discurso muy de derecha radicalizado. Creo que eso también está pasando. Hay muchos discursos vacíos. Hay muchos discursos que dicen, ah, la inflación, la hiper, pero no proponen ninguna solución. It's not just opposition voices on the right talking about inflation. Argentina, the street is a really important political well, tool. These are low income earners and welfare seismic. recipients who are an important voting block for the current no, wait, government. Sub Ninja. They're no, it's seismic. You did it. Wages and criticizing well economic done. policies pushed by the previous. All right, everyone. I'm going to send you guys off to, to Level Head. Um, they've recently come out as trance and are doing a uh, 24 hour stream. There's going to be lots of streamers that come on the stream Doodle Burp, uh, USA Hull. Gremlo, I'm pretty sure as well. All right. So be nice. Okay. Um, and it's also Trans Day of Remembrance as well. So I would highly recommend. You mean the stream where I get nothing that I wanted to do in the stream done. And I, I lie to people that I'm about to react to a certain video and everybody, you know, so, uh, yeah. I, I just, you know, the stream in which I lie to people. You mean that stream? Anyway. Be nice if you can, uh, uh, you know, help level our head out, then please do that. And um, yeah, I had a really good stream today. I loved it. I also love streams like this where we just go off the deep end and do like Girl, whatever. Lying, still lying to his audience. And I like it also because it's like now I'm a part and I don't have to like stress about reacting to too much stuff all the time. You know what I mean? That's like the cool thing. Yeah, no worries, Darvik. You deserve it. So, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'm going to be live. But, um, yeah. All right. Love you all, and please be very nice to Levelhead.